Okay, this is a little extra practice for chapter six, lesson two, numerical expressions, which is also the order of operation. Uh, so make sure you have your notes out if you don't have the order of operations memorized yet. So there's parentheses, exponents, multiplication, division, and then addition and subtraction. So when we're looking at this, we're gonna circle what we're gonna do first. So we're gonna do nine plus three, that's 12, and 12 minus five is seven. Take a look at our next one. We have some more operations in this one. Parentheses come first. So we get 31. And then rewrite it so you know what's coming next. Then if I go through, please excuse my dear, my. We have multiplication. So 31 times 2 is 62. And then 62 minus 15 is 47. Make sure you are solving it by circling it and rewriting the problem each time. So that way, I can tell how you solved it and if you went wrong, where you went wrong. Our next one, we have an exponent. So that means 5 times 5, so that's 25, plus 8 divided by 2. Now we have to think, are we supposed to add first or divide first? Division, so we're going to circle this one. So we still have 25, 8 divided by 2 is 4, 25 plus 4 is 29. And then our last one on this page, number four, tickets to a play cost $10 for members. So we have $10, 24 for non-members. Write expression to find the total cost of four non-member tickets. So we have non-member tickets are 24. So 24 times four. And so we're going to add two member tickets. So two times 10. So I'm going to multiply that side, and then I'll multiply this side. I'm going to start with that side. I'm going to do 24 times 4. So I have 96 plus 20, and that equals $116. Okay, we're going to move on to page 4, 45. So I'll flip over there. It's going to take me just a second to get there. I'm going to do some of these both. We're going to start with an easy one. We're in, since it's addition and subtraction, we're going to go left to right. So we have 8 plus 4. So that's 12 minus 3 equals 9. Our right, next one, we still just have subtraction and addition. And since that's all one step, we're going to go left to right. So I have 38 minus 19. So I get 19 plus 12 is 31. Okay, we do have parentheses in this one, so we're going to start there. Let's rewrite our problem. 3 plus 8 is 11. Next, what comes first is multiplication. So 7 plus 99 equals 106. And number 4, we don't have parentheses, but we have exponents. So we're going to do that first. And that means 2 times 2 times 2. 2 times 2 is 4. 4 times 2 is 8. So we're going to rewrite that as 15 minus 8 divided by 4. Division will come next. So we have 15 minus 2, and that equals 13. And our next one, we don't have we do have parentheses, so we're gonna do that first. So let's rewrite the rest of it. 2 plus 14 is 16. Now we're gonna do 55 divided by 11, which is 5, plus 7 times 16. So I have 5 plus 112, which equals 117 as your answer. Our next one is 5 to the third minus 12 divided by 3. There's no parentheses, so we're going to start with exponents. So that's 5 times 5 times 5, and that's 125 minus 12 divided by 3. We're going to do division. 
So 1, 25 minus 4 equals 1, 21. Okay, I'm going to go down to 7 and 8, but I need to clear the board out first. Okay, in this one, I have parentheses, but inside of it, I need to actually solve 2 fourths first, because I can't do 2 fourths minus 3. So that's 2 times 2 times 2 times 2. So let's see, that's 4, that's 4, 4 times 4 is 16. So 16 minus 3 is 13. So I'll rewrite this now. I'm going to do 8 times 13. That was 104, plus 8 is 112. Our next one's a pretty long one, um, and it, we're going to start with parentheses, so I'm going to circle that one. Yes, you have to rewrite each step you do. 20 minus 8 is 12. Next is exponents, so that is 4 times 4 times 4. So we have 16 times 4, which is 68. So let's rewrite 9 plus, not 68, I'm sorry, 64, times 12 divided by 2 plus 6. Okay, our next step is 64 times 12. So 64 times 12. Sorry, that's 7. So 7, 68. So 9 plus 7, 68 divided by 2 plus 6. We're going to divide next. Okay, so I have 9 plus 7, 68 divided by 2 plus 6. We're going to do 7, 68 divided by 2. Three times, eight times, four times. So I have nine plus three, eighty four plus six. So we have three. 93 plus 6, and that will get us 399. That's probably one of the harder ones that you do with how much you have to do on this. Now let's look at num number 9. Tyree and four friends go to the movies. Each person buys a movie ticket for $7, a snack for 5 and a drink for 2 Find an expression for the total cost of the trip, then find it. So this is a two-part problem. So he had four friends, and they got tickets. So 4 times 7, wait, there's actually 5 people, sorry, Tyree, plus 1 is 5. So we have 5 times 7, plus 5 squared plus Five times two. So we have twenty-five. And this is thirty-five. So thirty-five plus twenty-five plus ten. If I add that together, this is thirty-five, thirty-five. So your answer is going to be seventy dollars. Let's do number ten and then we'll be done with this. The Molina family went to a concert together. They purchased four concert tickets for $25 each, three t-shirts for $15 each, and a poster for 10 Write an expression. So there's four of them times 25 plus 25 plus each of them got a t-shirt, so three times 15 plus they only got one poster, so plus 10 Four times 25 is 100. 3 times 15 is 45, and we have a 10, so the cost is going to be $155.
for extra help, you can always go to Khan Academy or search other videos on YouTube. And study multiplication facts.